even want to touch on some of this, so to just a few uh, few things to consider. Um, we're thinking we want to move forward with both models as we discussed, uh, and, and that was I mentioned that in the sign-up sheet information that uh, we received at the start today. Uh, one thing that I talked to uh, actually the people in DC since our last meeting. And they had told me that uh, the small model is a good one because it can act as a training ground for the larger model. Um, we can learn a lot of things that we can apply to the larger model, so that's that's a good thing. Uh, the ultimate goal for this month, I think Stephen touched on this, to move people from solar curious to solar serious. Uh, in order to do this, we're going to need you to fill out a survey. Okay. Now I have um, I have a. I have a, a paper copy, 20, okay? But I've also made an online version that I'm going to send out through, it's, the, uh, it's called Survey Monkey, and I basically send out a link to all of you who've put your emails on the list already, and then you can fill that up. I would prefer if you go to online, because then it tabulates all the results, and I don't have to do that again. <laughs> Um, but if, if you are absolutely like hate technology, except solar panels, um, and you want to uh, do it on a paper copy, I have some here, and I know that's just way more convenient for some people. So if that's you, uh, come and see me after the meeting, and I can give you a, a survey that's on paper. Um, and I'll show you guys the types of questions I asked in that survey, just so you can start thinking about it. Um, if you're serious. The completed survey along with the $20 registration fee will be due on or before our next meeting on Monday, November 20th, okay? This cost will go towards any cost we've incurred up to this point, such as I'd like to give the Artful Dodger a bit of money and we'd like to start collecting some money for different fees that we may have as a group. Um, we, uh, if, if we don't have a group bank account set up at that time, then don't give me the $20. That's kind of my promise to you that we are going to create an account for this. It's not just going to go into one of our accounts, okay? And so we're, we're hoping to, uh, our plan is to create a, a bank account uh, before that time, two weeks from now. Um, so I guess that would be the deadline, is that November 20th. Um, Can you sign it up with each transfer? That's something I'll have to look into in regards to maybe, I guess it would just be creating an email account for the solar co-op, which is easy enough. It's also when you register the bank account, they transfer the profits, they want to Perfect. Are you going to use one of the big banks or are you going to use one of the big banks? Where we're looking at the small We are... Uh, Try a credit union. We are, <laughs> so I get we have, here. We've been inviting some credit union people here, so we're we're hoping that they're that's who we're planning to link arms with. Um, recognition that will give us good finance rates. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I believe that we had a, a <coughs> Jeremy from Connexus here last yeah. time, and, and right here. okay, and Mark, well. yes, okay. So hi guys. I'm Dr. <laughs> okay. um, so. Uh, so, did I just, yeah, I repeated that, sorry. I should have erased it from the next slide, uh, Stephen, sorry. Um, so here's a timeline we kind of discussed. Again, this is just tentative, but it just gives you an, an idea. Stephen has said, you know, there's a, a little bit of urgency here, but not too much, but there's some. Uh, so by the end of this month, we're hoping to determine who our Solar Serious members are and who's ready to go with this. Um, December, we're hoping to create our group request for uh, proposal. And we actually had someone step up from last meeting who said she'd be willing to do that. She does it for a living. So that's nice when we have people like that stepping up. Um, and we want, to we want to get that ready to be submitted to potential solar companies. In January, we'd have that submitted to <coughs> potential companies. Um, on, in February 2018, again, these are just tentative dates, we would deliberate on that as a group, and we would decide which uh, organization we want to go with. Um, on March 2018, we choose our solar company and organize installations. And in April 2018, those people would start getting installations done, and we would take a second intake for a phase two which we're hoping to actually get in before the November 2018 deadline as well. So 
Um, we're kind of wanting to create a bit of urgency so those people who don't get on board by the end of this month, um, don't worry, they'll still have a chance at the next intake in April, if that makes sense, okay? Um, and some people that just make bit better, like even myself, um, we've been talking about are we really ready right now or is it, are we gonna be better positioned in April? So, um, so those are things to, to think about. <coughs> and uh, I think, is that it? I was thinking, is there anything more? Um, so, did I repeat myself again? No, okay. Deadline for submission of surveys is $20 registration fee, November 20th. Account details and survey will be sent out to email lists and on the Facebook page. So again, if you didn't get the paper copy of the survey, I uh, will be sending that out here in the next couple of days. Uh, we've asked reps from the Saskatoon Solar Club to tell us about their model. We're already looking at a potential Regina partnerships for a large scale solar model. I mean, we're, we're just looking at that. I'm not gonna say what's happened because it's very much just discussing, but just to let you guys know that the, those discussions are taking place already. And uh, we're, we're hopeful that something may come out on a, on a large scale uh, level. Um, so this, is, this uh, meeting on November 20th is also gonna be an exciting opportunity so, uh, for all of us to learn more about solar, uh, not just for our homes, but on a large scale. So we hope that all of you can come and, and whoever else, we, we really hope everyone can be there. My point in saying that is, so oh, I'm just uh, I'm just happy with my private home, so I'm done. We encourage you to go beyond that. Think about maybe getting involved on a larger scale as well. It, 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 if it works for you as a as a uh, in your private home, then it's probably going to work for a group too, and you can have some benefits as well. And that's something to consider. So um, that again is at uh, Monday, November 20th at the Artful Dodger. Uh, and uh, I just want to show you guys quickly the survey. I, I think I have it on a, on a link here, David. This is what's coming your way. that question the next one um, number two how important to you is it that we use a local versus a national solar panel installation company so there I mean I think most people are gonna go local but I don't assume that there may be uh, some of you that are like oh if we can get a cheaper cost I'd be interested in going with a bigger company so that's that question Number three, how ready do you think your roof is for solar panels, given what Stephen just talked about? Um, where are you at right now? So, uh, ready today, we'll be ready in four to five months, we'll need at least a year. Um, or I live in an apartment or condo and don't have full control of what goes on my rooftop. That gives us some information <coughs> where you're at as well. Um, four, would you be interested in having our group ask our selected solar company to offer training in installation and energy appraisals. So that's something that was suggested in uh, by the DC model that actually some people wanted to get trained in terms of offering, I think, I don't know if it was as much installation or even just some of the stuff that uh, Stephen is already saying, it's probably that kind of level of training, just uh, educating people to be solar ready. Um, so that was an interesting thing I thought we would include in there. Uh, number five, I would be willing to volunteer in the following ways with the solar co-op. So being a part of a selection, this is probably the number one one I want to point out. Who of you would like to be part of a selection committee that helps our group choose our solar panel producers and installers? So 
I'm, we're assuming that not all 100 people that showed up two weeks ago is going to decide as a big group. That would be a gong show, right? So we, we want people who are really committed from the group to uh, form a selection committee to help us go through those RFPs to decide which group we want. Um, who here is interested in data input, logistics, and administrative duties? Because I'm sure aren't, but I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> Uh, communications with public and media. Is there someone who'd like to do that? Event planning. One thing they said in DC is, you know, we should plan a party when this actually gets off the ground. Kind of a fun thing to do. Again, something I don't want to do, but someone here might be love partying. Why do you like party? Well, you know what I mean. Um, uh, and then finally, I think Andrew mentioned this, but financial management and accounting expertise. Who here uh, could offer some help with numbers? Again, it's something you can click on the survey. Uh, how much time would you be willing to put in per month for the co-op? Uh, there's options there. Some of you may be so really passionate about this beyond just installation. You want to actually really get involved, and that, that's awesome. And others of you are like, I'm happy with just doing this, and I don't have that much extra time. Uh, next, how interested would you be in allocating part of our solar panel savings to a bursary fund for other future members who may be in need of it? Um, that actually came from some feedback from the last meeting. A couple people told me they'd be really interested in that. And that may be something as we decide what our co-op looks That's like, uh, maybe an option. If we are getting great savings, we may decide to save a percentage of that towards some kind of fund. And so I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, how interested would you be in being part of a large-scale power generation co-op in addition to adding solar to your own house? We just discussed that. Um, number nine, how important is, it, is getting a loan? So Stephen again mentioned this um, for your solar inspiration. So some of you, are, I can't do this without a loan. It's somewhat important. I could do it, but it would be beneficial. And then some of you uh, have the capital up front and you're not interested in the loan. So it's just good information for us to know as a group. Um, and then finally, there's just any other comments or questions that you have. So that is what this should look like when you do it online. If you're doing something else, then you probably are in the wrong place. Or, okay. So, um, and again, I have paper copies. Uh, if, for those of you who would much prefer to do a paper survey, I can get you that information. The only thing I'll say with the paper survey, there was one adjustment I made where I didn't have the option for financial